We've been talking to the communities of Brooklyn and Queens and the people, and a lot of them don't even know about the oil contamination and how severe the problem is. As advanced as we are as a society, we have yet to advance technology to clean oil from water. What you see here today is an example of a simple and effective technology. It is not magic. It is explained in white papers written by Woods Hole Oceanographic Institute. It is a technology that attracts oil like a magnet and repels water. In 2001, I formed a company by the name of Select Plastics with the vision of creating low carbon impact biodegradable specialized plastic foam materials. In, in 2006, we were wiped out by oil contaminated floodwaters. After the flood and seeing what oil contaminated water can really do, I became obsessed with coming up with a simple solution to filter oil from water. We have the technology with Opflex to remove the oil at the source of contamination and prevent our waterways from being destroyed. BP recycled and reused the Opflex an average of 20 to 30 times at the Deepwater Horizon site in the Gulf of Mexico and at the decontamination center in Lake Charles. Opflex technology is not just about cleaning up oil disasters. Opflex technology is about preventing the waterways from being contaminated with oil and other contaminants. Everything that gets spilled on a daily basis throughout this country. I have been able to create the most effective products by being on the ground. It's all about being in front of the people doing the work in real world conditions. Essentially, I've been able to create the best products because my laboratory is the actual real world with everyday oil spill disasters. Whether it's BP, stormwater runoff, or contamination in the port of New Bedford. on the Grand Isle looking out over the Gulf of Mexico. In Dalian, China right now. Malibu Lagoon. We're at the Port of Stockton, California in a salvage operation. Laurel, Montana, Yellowstone River, Exxon oil spill. We have returned to Santa Monica, California. Wellesley, Massachusetts. Aruba, February 14th. Guanas Canal. On Horn Island. Grand Marsh, Wisconsin. Fort Morgan, Alabama. Pensacola where we are in Hurricane Sandy on Cape Cod. Earlier this year I was contacted by Exxon when the Yellowstone River spill happened. And that really, that really opened my eyes as to rivers and high speed currents and the impact it has on harming the waterways with contamination. The Opflex snare mops designed for high speed currents and rapid water flow as used in Orange Beach, Alabama by BP to remove instantaneously oil from the water before it hit the beach. So it prevented the impact of the oil on the beach. You have a current of 15 to 20 miles an hour and you have a pipeline break in a river, that, that is moving very rapidly and there is no way, no way to deal with it with the conventional containment booms. You're never gonna remove the oil from the water. White booms, orange containment booms, contain the oil. Supposedly, the white round booms are supposed to absorb, but they only adsorb. And that simply means, does not remove the oil from the water. It's much easier to pull the oil out of the water than it is to pull it out of rocks, marshes, and beaches, as we know. I'm Greg Curtis, and along with Scott Smith, 
we developed this concept of synthetic eelgrass to take advantage of the oleophilic nature of EMA in order to capture oil on the water. Now, eelgrass is an analog to natural eelgrass, and it rises up from the bottom and floats on the top of the water, providing a surface area that the oil can adhere to. Because it comes up from the bottom, it isn't just floating on the surface. It captures oil that's in the water column as well. We have put on circulating pumps to circulate the water to simulate a current. And so where the water comes in at the south end of the tank, that's we're going to assume that's the upstream end of the tank. And it flows down the tank, carrying oil with it, and it is captured in the synthetic eelgrass. And uh, it seems to have been doing that rather well. You have all these globules of oil upstream. You don't have any downstream. December 28, 2012, we are officially deploying the Opflex synthetic eelgrass in Guanis Canal. I'm literally sweeping the crude oil or mopping it up right out of the water with clear water around wherever I move the mop by. It hasn't even been here for a half an hour and already soaked up about eight gallons. You can get eight gallons out of the water every half an hour. If you look at the white one, absorbents over there, they've been out here for a few weeks and they're still all white with no oil. Wow. Oh. You can see it's just been in the water a half an hour. It's actually very heavy. And here we are in a beautiful rainy day. Okay, now we are pulling the booms been okay, in the water good. about 10, 15 minutes. Here is the Opflex boom and it is so heavy. Look at clear water running out. But I think the bamboo is going to break. The white one. There you see the old style white material. Yeah. And it's not absorbing or pulling anything in as it adsorbs. It looks like white sorbents adsorb in China, just like they adsorb in Venice, Louisiana, just like they adsorb in Orange Beach, Alabama. This is the heavy crude oil that still remains in Laurel, Montana. We are back at the dumpster now, showing what may be just a minor amount of adsorption on what's called the sausage boom and that is wadded up cellulose. Clearly that has no oil, and there's no absorption going to a landfill. And as I stated previously, BP reused mega patch just like this in the Gulf of Mexico oil spill 25 times. The landfills in the United States get filled needlessly every day by oil spill contractors that are interested in filling landfills, not removing oil from water. Clean water is a very serious issue, which I realized in China. It doesn't matter what our differences are as a country, as a nation, clean water is a major threat. And industrial wastewater from everyday societal living creates the equivalent of the Gulf oil spill every year, 180 million gallons a year in stormwater. And we have a very simple solution that can be part of a bigger solution to clean the water. I would just say that I will never back down from my principle. If I believe something in my heart, never back down, no matter what the consequences.